everybody, it's me, Laura, and today we're going to be talking about my second part to my terracotta pots. And right here, I'm scuffing up the pots. And I'm doing this because I wanted them to have a little bit of a distressed look. You could have it where it's without any scuff on it, and that's fine. Um, but I thought, well, we'll just try something different and see how it goes. So I'm scuffing these up really on all three of them. You notice the one with the wires, and then I've got a shorter pot and then a little taller pot just to show you a little bit of difference in what I'm dealing with here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start painting these pots is the idea. And I'm using acrylic paint here and I'm using some white acrylic paint. Um, I have a tendency to use uh, ceram coat type paints but really I would say any of those you know the folk art any of those um, paints will work just fine um, this is just my preference <laughs> and of course you could tell right here I'm using a 10 aught brush and I'm just creating little hearts and then three little dots all the way around and when I get to the next one I try to make sure that I get all the little pattern in so it meets up perfectly Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start just putting a simple dot pattern around the base of the tray on this pot, just to add in a little more detail. Okay, for our second pot, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a little white clay, and I'm just going to completely um, paint off or paint around on that top rim of this second pot. And I'm just giving it a nice white coat. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to try and do the edges. Now when you go to do the edges on this thing, use you're going to have to just do it very delicately around that top edge so that you don't hit the brown soil on the inside of the pot. But it should look really nice and it'll look really, really cool. Anyway, I'm also doing that to the bottom part. And then once I get that done, I'm going to take some yellow ceram coat um, paint here, and I'm just going to create just a little yellow, well, flower, if you will. And I'm going to do that in little areas, evenly spaced as much as possible, all the way around the top part rim of this pot. Now that we have our little yellow fl flowers painted, I'm going to take some leaf green um, paint and I'm just going to make two little leaves in between each little flower. And this should add in a wonderful little detail to the upper rim of this terracotta pot. Now that I have the leaves in, I took a little bit of black paint and we're going to go ahead and make little tiny dots on the bottom rim of this terracotta pot all the way around as evenly spaced as possible and then rinse that out and then come in with your black paint and just dot your little you know put your little centers in on each of the flowers okay now going back to the bottom rim on this little terracotta pot you're going to take and also create two little leaves between each little yellow dot. Once you get that done, then you'll go back to each of the little yellow dots and we'll rinse out our paintbrush again and go ahead and put a little tiny black dot in the center of each yellow one. Okay, on our third terracotta pot, we're going to go ahead and we're painting the top rim all in black. And we'll go ahead and, of course, add in that little detail around the, over the edge there and do the same to the bottom, the bottom rim on the tray or on the, on the plate of this terracotta pot. So we're going to take and paint that all black. Now that we have the terracotta pot painted in our black paint, 
I'm taking a little bit of red and white acrylic paint and I'm just mixing it up just to have a nice little pink color, if you will. And then once I have that all taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and start painting on just little portions, little square um, parts on, on the rim here with that pink paint, kind of giving a little bit of a different kind of look to this terracotta pot. Once you get the little rim details on the top all painted in, go ahead and start creating that same pink little pattern on the black on the bottom rim as well. Once you have that pink all painted in, go ahead and take and put some little white dots with your white acrylic paint in the black areas. It creates such a dynamic effect. That white and black contrast is so awesome. <laughs> so I thought we got to do this all the way around this pot. Now that you have that done, take some of your yellow paint and I'm just making tiny little hearts in the pink area. I thought, well, you know, <laughs> the black has got a little detail. We got to put a little bit of detail in the pink too. Now, the yellow and the pink is not as dynamic, but that's okay. I really wanted those white dots to just stand out. And finally, I'm using my X-Acto knife here to clean up any stray paint marks I left behind on my terracotta pots. Okay, so here are the examples I have on my terracotta pots. You can notice that some are, skiffed, are scuffed up and then the others aren't. And then also the painted versions as to the different details. I hope you will use this for study and reference, and if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'd love to know what you're thinking. And as always, I'm sending out my biggest hugs to each of you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.